friends, my name is Sitlali. Welcome to Lifehouse Kids. This month, we will be talking about how Jesus loves us and how he wants to be our friend forever. When I ask, who loves you? You say, Jesus loves me. Who loves you? Jesus loves me. Yes, it's true. We can sing and dance and say, thank you, God, for sending Jesus to be our friend forever. Join me as we sing this new song. How deep, how wide, how long is the love of Jesus? How big, how high, how strong is the love of Jesus? Jesus is my friend for life, and I know I will never be without him. I'll never be. Jesus is my friend for life, and I know I will never be without him. I'll never be, never be, never be, never, ever, ever be, never be without him. I'll never be, never be, never be, never, ever, ever be, never be without him. with me on your legs. Ta-da! They are heart cookies. Mom said she had a lot of fun baking them. I asked my mom if I could help by decorating the cookies. I have lots of special things to decorate with. Different colored frosting, sprinkles, and candy hearts. I can put hearts on the hearts. How fun is that? All right, friends. Here we go. Now 
now I have to decide what little hearts to put on my big hearts. Should I put love bug, best day, or BFF? Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Luca. Who? Who? Making something sweet, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I was just helping my mom decorate the rest of these heart cookies. Jesus loves when we help. It's true. And he wants to help us, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Thank you so much, Stormy Jane. I think that was the last one. Oh. Hi friends, I'm Carrie the dog walker and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. Stormy was just helping me pick up all the sticks that were covering the ground. She's such a great helper. Hey, that reminds me of a true story from the Bible about Jesus helping someone. One day, Jesus walked into a town and a centurion came up to him. A centurion is a fancy word for someone who was a leader of a lot of soldiers. Centurions were very powerful and important, but this centurion had heard about Jesus and all the amazing things he had done. Even though the centurion was an important person, he knew that Jesus was even more important and he needed Jesus' help. Jesus, the centurion said, my servant is at home and he is very, very sick. Please, I need your help to make him better. The centurion really needed help, and he believed that Jesus had the power to help him. Raise your hand if you believe Jesus has the power to help the centurion. I do too. You can put your hands down now, and let's see what happens next. Jesus asked the centurion, Do you want me to come to your house and make him better? The centurion said, I know you are so powerful that you can just say that my servant will be better and he will get better. Jesus told the centurion to go home and that his servant would be all better. And guess what? The servant was all better. Jesus loved the centurion and the servant and wanted to help them. Jesus loves you and wants to help you too. That's right. Jesus loves you and he wants to be your friend forever. Hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus helped the centurion, and Jesus wants to help you too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ooh, ooh. Wow! Jesus loved the centurion and helped by making the sick man all better. And Jesus loves you and me too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Hey, I can go over and help my neighbor Miss Kathy Sue in her garden today. And I can bring her some of these cookies so she knows Jesus loves her too. Nothing says love like cookies. See you next time. I'm so glad to know that Jesus wants to be my friend forever. The Bible teaches us how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Ephesians 3.18 That means Jesus will always love you and me. Let's learn our memory verse together. Are you ready? Listen to me say it and watch me do the motions. Then you can join and do it with me. How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Ephesians 3.18 Now it's your turn. Are you ready to join me? How wide 
and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Ephesians 3.18 Awesome job, friends. I'll see you next time. Bye!